Hey guys, what's up, it's Joey, and today I have a awesome troop combination video called the Sniping Lumber Chief. Sniping Lumber Chief. Such a beast. If that was one unit, I would think it'd be the coolest thing in the world. But let's check out, I'm going to be using New Orleans as my base place to, you know, show it off. So I just need to pick up a few extra troops to show you what my Sniping Lumber Chief is compiled of. So here's what we're going to have. We're going to have an EMT just to be... Okay, wait, take a minute. Let's go back. Let's just clear everything, okay? We're going to go through the units and show you what we need. So, of course, Lumber Chief. We're going to need snipers for sniping Lumber Chief, right? So sniper and sniper. Sniping. Lumberjack. Lumberjack. For the lumber section. Lumberjack, Lumberjack, where are you? There we go. So sniping Lumber Chief. So I think I have one more... I think I have a fire chief down here somewhere. I probably passed it. There we go. Fire chief. And got a fire chief at the top. Fire chief. Sniping lumber chief. And of course, I believe that we don't want to overpower it too much. But to accompany it, we want the EMT to help heal. You know, heals are very important. And I'm going to borrow a lumberjack from my fellow members. So either one of these, I would recommend borrowing either lumberjack or fire chief from your members if you are using this composition. But let's get to it. Let's go on hard and let's go see what the sniping fire chief can do in New Orleans. Here we go. I currently have used this quite a bit and I do enjoy it a lot. I enjoy this troop setup. So snipers. We want to have our snipers well placed in good areas where they will be able to stay far away as possible from people. But still be you know in the mess a little bit to help you know fire away at people. So I'm going to put them, try to put them right here in the middle. They're going to be right in the middle of the action where they can fire at either pads. And then I have my one sniper right on the hospital sniping at the far pad right over here, right over there. So now we have our fire chiefs and lumberjacks. So I'm going to put a fire chief here and here and here and here. Now, if you don't have that many, it's okay. You still have the second fire chief set up right there. But I'm going to also throw a lumberjack with each one just about. And I also have these extra lumberjacks, so I'm going to throw down some extra lumberjacks here, here, throw down some extra people here and here. Now I'm going to have an EMT at some of these higher count pads right here. And here's what happens. Just in case, I'm going to throw down a lumberjack right back here to defend this wall and area, just in case we do get happen to get into a bit of a pickle. So let's put that right there, and let's start the waves and see what we can do with this sniping lumber chief combo. Here they come. They're on their way. Let's see what we can do with this. The just okay. So, right off the bat, here's one of the major weaknesses and flaws of this troop combination. When we have delivery men, they pretty much just gonna wreak havoc because we're not having as many. I mean, we do have our long range, but we don't have any mercenaries or gunfighters up close to help take out those um, delivery men. Because our when we're using the sniping lumber chief, the lumberjacks and the firefighters, the fire chiefs, are very up and close to the pads, and they're really up close and personal. So as you can see. He did manage to take out the medic, but he wasn't able to take out all of our lumberjacks and fire chiefs. So we're still pretty much set right there. But as you can see, our snipers are just helping out a lot, doing really good work. And really, we're just kind of we're doing pretty well right now. The last group is just going to have drones and runners, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem for our sniping lumber chiefs. But what I have found is really just our biggest weakness with this is going to be the, the, the um, delivery men. Because when it comes to brutes, these snipers are always there to just take out those guys. And it's not, it's not a problem right there. But when you do have the delivery men, it just causes problems because they get up close, personal, take them out, and then we just have problems. But with this, we do have a higher health units with us. So they're pretty much, they're, they're able to take a lot of damage from these guys, but not as much damage as that the um, delivery men deals. But right there, we have plenty of time to spare, and we get three stars in New Orleans. So now we're actually going to check out a little bit harder of a place to, I'm going to head over to, let's see, so when we were at, come, where are you, where are you, we're at New Orleans, level 6, so we're going to go to another one where it was level 7 with our same loadout, let's whip out the borrowed lumberjack from Riz, let's make sure we have our two fire chiefs, two snipers, two lumberjacks, there we go, we are set, let's go for, let's see if it's a little, it's a little bit harder, and I think we'll have a bit different true, like, zombie loadout, so let's see what we can go, see if we can handle the difference, so this one we have biohazards and colossuses, no, so now this time we don't have any of the menacing, really annoying 
liverymen. So we're going to have to a little bit of a different strategy here. But as you can see, there's plenty of pads. But the thing is, we're not being up, we're not being as close and up and personal with our people. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw down several fire chiefs here and here. We're going to have to put some more right here, accompanied by lumberjack here. And I'm going to put one here, here. Uh, lumberjack, lumberjack, and I'm going to put another lumberjack here. I'm going to put a sniper here, a sniper there. We're going to have an EMT at these major, larger pads. I'm going to actually put down a fire chief here, accompanied by one of my snipers. I'm going to put another sniper right over here by this pad. I'm going to see if I can get him out a little bit further, possibly help out on taking out some of those main units. And we still have several people available. I'm going to put a sniper here. Hopefully he'll be able to stay back. And then we have an extra lumberjack. I'm going to throw down the lumberjack there. I'm going to save my extra lumberjacks that I have saved. I have about four. So just in case we do end up losing one, I'll have some extras to place down. So let's see how this handles with the different setup of just drones and biohazards. And I believe we have Colossuses. And I believe we had one more thing was the runners possibly. So let's throw down a Stimsy here. And as you can see, biohazards are going to be causing problems because there's plenty of walls, but we don't have as many uh, like gunfighters or mercenaries who are shooting over the walls. So we're just having to wait until they break through those walls and take us on. That's what, so we're going to be able to test out the differences and possibilities that we may have when it comes to this loadout. So as you can see, we have not, we have one less troop over there. So I'm going to throw down my extra lumberjack here, here, and then I'm actually probably going to end up placing one on this pad because it looks like we're being, we're pretty, it's getting pretty beefy over there. All right, so I'm going to put one down there, put one here stim that up area right there and we're still holding strong right over here on the right side um looking good not too bad so we're getting low on health thanks to those handy dandy biohazards and we're looking eh, we're looking decent on each side not too crazy not too good though it's getting low health but we're still holding strong not too bad so as you can see we were actually did lose a group right there and based on where i want to place my final lumberjack, I'm going to put him right here. And I'm going to save that Molotov cocktail for group number three. And I really am going to need it to... Uh, we're running low. See, running low on those troops. I'm actually going to place it right here because this lone lumberjack, he's going to need some help. I'm going to stem him up. And we're going to actually... We're just going to have to hope that he can just power through this last level right here. Now I'm actually going to want to get as many people over to focused on this wall as possible because I want to get these guys involved. We got the EMT going. We're looking good. Now this one Lumberjack right here, he's having trouble. I'm going to throw another Stim Z. Hopefully he can pull it out. I don't want them touching my hospital. They aren't allowed. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so once they get close to that, all right, you guys, you definitely want to come over here. Come on. Keep on going. Come over. Come visit my Lumberjack. Come visit my Fire Chief. Come on. Oy vey. Okay, uh, so far so good. See, the Lumber Chief... It has weaknesses in it when it comes to these walls and delivery men. See, I'm showing you these two large weaknesses. But if we can get them up close and personal without these walls and biohazards, I feel like we should... I mean, here's the thing. If you're, It depends on which place you're attacking. Say you're attacking um, a different world. Maybe, maybe it's like Lima or something. It's more open. This is going to be the loadout for you. But say you're having a heavily walled area like this one. I would definitely bring a mercenary or something along those lines with you. So then that way you can keep your lumberjack safe if they are behind the wall, and that way you won't have to worry as much. So let's throw down this Molotov cocktail right here. Take out a few guys right now, but not all of them. But it looks like they aren't able to take out that hospital, and I think we're going to pull out a star right here. Yes, we are able to pull a star. But there's the sniping lumber chief. So we have an interesting loadout. So Based on what you want, you can either bring an EMT, a mercenary, gunfighter, something that can shoot over walls. That's what I would highly recommend you bringing instead of an EMT, even though EMTs are very good when you do level them up higher. But based on Lima, that was a tougher one with what I had. But really just for the future, I mean, it's your choice what you want to bring for that seventh troop and plus what you want to borrow too. I mean, it's really up to you. But that's the Sniping Lumber Chief. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for this.